Hi, so I'm recording this to show everyone how we can begin to check ourselves and particularly when we're looking at new things and understanding. So again, this is livemeters.com. Uh, as you can see that this is in the 55.240 kilohertz and we're picking up um, some very strong signal. So what I like to do here for myself is to go over here and see since I know that this particular um, location is right here right outside Washington DC I can see that there is a blue line going directly up from about New York down to Florida so I want to go down here and I want to look at the legend so it tells me that if it's in the blue line it's in the 28 megahertz a yellow is in the 50 where we want to watch and then orange hitting up into this and you can see onward so based on this I would have to say that there was in this area in the 28 megahertz range sporadic E so would we be seeing this over here well the answer is yes we would but when we see signatures like this those could very well be tracking meters there is another good site that I use to help me further identify if it's a meteor if it's potentially an object or if it is in fact sporadic E so I can go to this website and I can see from multiple uh, locations look at this there was a big big meteor here that's really big folks when you start seeing signals like that so that leads me always to go back and to say okay is it picking up now look at that is a steady hot return and again can it be contributed to North America and in this case we're not showing any particular heavy band it's yes there is some sporadic E but it's in the very lower bands so these are all great uh, websites um, you should check them out I'll leave the links and we can see how this begins to impact our weather as well um, in the jet stream so last we looked at this you know again I'm no expert in meteorology don't claim to be I'm very good at what I do but as an observer and as a layman someone actually I think used the word doofus really you know the wonderful thing about the English vocabulary is that it is rich with far more better descriptions but whatever you know when I see that I'm smart enough to recognize that oh well that's an odd anomaly and it is and we'll just go real quick here before we see how our magnetosphere is doing I don't know lots of uh, north-south south-north intermixing but hey I am no expert but <clears throat> I know this 
I know our weather is changing. I can feel it right here where we live in Colorado. So, just interesting what's taking place. We can see the same type of anomalies even down here at the 250 millibars. Something to take a look at. So let's go over and check out our magnetosphere. Well, very quickly, there it is. Overnight, a lot of pull. And let's see how It's all interconnected, people. It really is. All of this is interconnected. All right, let's see what happens uh, this evening. Take care.